Ms. Lubin, as we're being recorded here today, would you please go ahead, state your full name, and then spell both your first and your last name for the record. Christina Lubin, C-H-R-I-S-T-I-N-A-L-U-B-I-N. Okay. And Ms. Lubin, what town do you live in? Manchester. How long have you lived here? 24 years. And are you working right now? I'm self-employed. Okay. And what are some of the things that you do being self-employed? Um, deliveries, flipping furniture, and a hired-in server. Okay. And in addition to living here in Manchester, uh, is your residence currently on Dubuque Street? Yes. And let me ask you, do you have a daughter? Yes. And what's her name? Kayla Montgomery. Okay. Do you know someone by the name of Adam Montgomery? Yes. Who was he? My daughter's husband. Did you also know someone by the name of Harmony Yes. Who is she? Adam's daughter. I'll go ahead and show you State's Exhibit 1. Do you recognize this man? Yes, I do. Who is this? Adam Montgomery. When did you first meet Harmony? It was shortly after um, Thanksgiving in 2019. So you only got to know her for a small time? One time, yes. One time. Where did you see her? At my house. And I believe you said it was right around Thanksgiving. Is that appropriate? It was shortly after Thanksgiving, yes. Okay. Uh, do your knowledge was that before or after uh, they got evicted from 77 Guilford Street? I believe that's after they got evicted. So we've been beginning in the winter, December of 2019, uh, at some point did you receive a phone call from your daughter? I've spoke to her a couple times. I'm not sure exactly which particular one you're. Let me be more specific. At some point, um, did, uh, did you ever see her and Adam and the two boys at your house, but not with Harmony? Yes. And when did that occur in December of 2019? That was, I, it was before December. Um, it was shortly after Thanksgiving because I had just put my tree up. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember the exact date. I just remember shutting off the overhead lights so that the kids could see the Christmas lights and the ornaments. Okay. And that's when you saw Harmony that that's time? That's when I saw Harmony. Okay. Um, later in the month, uh, did they come back to stay with you, I'm sorry, uh, for a longer period of time than just one afternoon? Yes. Okay. And when they came the second time, was Harmony still there? No, she wasn't. Okay. When did you find out that they had been evicted from 77 Guilford Street? Um, Kayla had called me at one point before seeing them at my house mm -hmm. about having a flat tire, and needing money for it. Um, so I, I was leaving to leave for the day. So I left the money in a cooler in my um, side hallway so that they could get their tire fixed. You left the money in a cooler? Yes. Could you describe what, what did the cooler look like? It was a red cooler with a white top that would flip open. Um, later on, when you saw them next in December, um, I believe you testified a moment ago that they did not have harmony at that point. Is that right? Correct. Okay. Um, where did you first see them and how did they get to your house that day? I picked them up at my sister's house. Um, they um, went there because they had no place to go. I guess their car broke down at that point um, and they had, they had nowhere to, to go. Okay. My sister said they well, definitely hold on just a second. I, I don't want to necessarily ask you what somebody else said okay. at this point, but I, I appreciate that. Uh, let me ask a few more questions about what you just told us, though. Uh, you stated that you picked them up. Uh, what kind of car were you driving? I had a green minivan, a Ford minivan. Okay. So were you able to fit uh, your daughter, Adam Montgomery, and the boys in that minivan? Yes. Uh, did they have anything else with them? Did they have any luggage with them? It was. They had some bags with them. Um, I don't remember exactly what. Um, this second time when they were there without Harmony, uh, did you ask Adam Montgomery where Harmony was? I asked Kayla. You asked Kayla. Okay. 
Um, once they were there with you, how long did they stay before they moved on? They were there a couple of weeks. I think it was like December 29th, 30th, um, right around then. Do you know where they moved to when they left you? They went to FIT in Manchester. And FIT, is that short for the Families in Transition Shelter? Yes. When they were spending time with you, if you could just uh, go a little bit into detail for us to explain um, your particular apartment in your building. How, if I were to come visit, how would I be able to get inside your apartment? What are the doors and where are they? There, there are three doors mm -hmm. to my apartment. I'm the full bottom floor. The very front door facing on Dubuque Street is where the mailboxes are, and that door is always locked. There's a middle door to the left-hand side next to a tree, and that's the side door that the I have an, a door to my apartment there, mm -hmm. and the people that live on the second and third floor use that door to go up and down the stairs. Then there's a back door where I park my car, and that's the door that I use as my main entrance. Um, when you said before that you had left money for the family um, and you had left it in a cooler, um, where was that cooler located in relation to these three doors you just explained? The middle door that's next to the tree. That's next to the tree? Yeah. So that's the middle door. and You mean the tree outside, not a Christmas right. tree, I right. take it. Okay. Yes. Um, that particular hallway, the door in and out of that hallway, um, is that, first of all, is that a hallway that's just yours, or is that a common hallway that other people can use to go up and down That's stairs? a common hallway. Common hallway. And the cooler, was that stored inside a locked part of your apartment, or was that out in the common hallway? That was out in the common hallway. Okay. When they stayed with you for those couple of weeks in December, um, what doorway did they come into your apartment? Did they go in from the back one that you described for yourself, or from that common hallway? They went through the common hallway. And did they have a car with them while you were there? Did you see that they owned a car at that point? In December, no, I didn't see a car. Okay. They didn't have a car. You stated that your uh, apartment's on the f on the ground floor. Um, is that a first floor or is this a, like a basement apartment? No, it's the first floor. First floor, got it. And that hallway, what else is in that common hallway uh, besides your cooler that you stored there? There's um, a door that goes to the basement that's paddle locked. There's my there's an entrance to my apartment that goes to my dining room, mm -hmm. and then there's the stairs to the second and third floor. Uh, the door down to the basement, um, I believe, is that locked? Not yes. locked. That's locked one. How long had you owned that red cooler uh, in the hallway? A couple of years. I used it for basketball. For the basketball team. Uh, did you always store it in the hallway? No, sometimes it was in the apartment. Sometimes it was in the hall. A lot of, most of the time it was in the hall when basketball was all done. You said a moment ago that you left money in the, in the past there for, for Kayla and for, for the defendant. Um, was the cooler in the hallway when you did that? Yes. And how would you leave that money so that somebody else wouldn't take it? So it was next to my apartment door um, at the end of the hallway and I would put money under a piece of cardboard and then close the cover. So the cardboard was inside the cooler? Yes. I'd like to show you what's been marked States Exhibits 28 and 29. I'd like to go ahead and show you what's been marked States Exhibit 28 for identification purposes only at this point in time. 
Uh, do you recognize the object in that photo? Yes. And what is that object? That's the red cooler from my apartment. And I'd like to also show you State's Exhibit 29. Actually, and you said that's the cooler in your apartment. Is that generally in the same condition as you would keep it? it hasn't been scratched up or marked or anything else at that point? Yes, it looks a little bit dirty. A little but, dirty? Yeah. I'm not going to show you what's been marked State's Exhibit 29 for identification purposes only. Um, is that still the same cooler? It looks like the same cooler. Okay. And can I ask, uh, what are, are there any other differences that you see with regards to that cooler from how we just looked at it a moment ago versus how you're looking at it there? It looks really dirty. Okay. And do you see any stickers that have been placed on it? Yes, I do. But still the same cooler? It looks like the same cooler. At this point, the state's going to ask for identification to be stricken from State's Exhibit 28. No objection. Right, the ID is stricken on Exhibit 28. It's entered as a full exhibit. So that cooler that we just looked at, that was your cooler that was in the hall? It looks like my cooler, yes. And that was there back in December of 2019? Yes. State's Exhibit 77 for identification purposes. What I would like to do is I would like to open up the top of the packaging so that you can see it and then ask whether or not you can identify the object, okay? Okay. Daughter, can they borrow the scissors again, please? Thank Can you see the color? Yes. The shape? Yes. The handle? Yes. Is this the same cooler? It looks like the same cooler. Looks like the same cooler to you? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Newton, if you want to sit down. Is this, I'm sorry. Does this look like the same cooler as the one that you identified before um, with regards to the one that you would leave money in? Yes. Did you ever keep anything else in this cooler? I used it for basketball tournaments, for food. For food, for mm -hmm. basketball tournaments. At some point, did police come to see you at your home to ask you questions about Fozzie's disappearance? Yes. And later on, did you agree and allow them to do a search of your home uh, relative to that investigation? Yes, I don't remember them actually searching the home, okay. um, but they were free to come in and do whatever they like. And let me ask you, did they take that cooler from you when you met with them on one occasion? Yes. 
Did they explain to you why that they took the cooler or no? Not really a, any detail. They just needed it. Okay. Do you know why they took the cooler? I had a suspicion. What was your suspicion? I know they were looking for speculation. I'll withdraw the question, Your Honor. Objection is sustained. Ms. Lewin, one thing I do want to make clear. Uh, other than the money and the food that you had before for basketball games and um, other than the money that you left for Kayla, do you have any idea what else was kept in, inside no. this cooler? No. Did Adam Montgomery ever talk to you about this cooler? Never. It's my understanding that uh, you do some woodworking? Yes. What do you do? I upcycle and recycle pretty much any furniture I can get my hands on. I have a table saw, I have a circular saw, I have a band saw, I have a sill saw. Sill saw, what kind of saw is that? Um, it's a saw that I use to cut pallet, not go through the um, nails on pallet wood. It's like a hand, it's a handle and it's got long blades that you can put in it. Long blades? How long? Um, well, the blade itself is like this big and then you have the end piece that attaches inside the machine. And how does that saw operate? <laughs> So it's about yay big. Is it round or is it? No, it's like a, just a long blade about this thick, <coughs> and it kind of go vibrates back and forth as so it. I'm assuming you hold your hands up to be what, maybe about an inch thick? Is that about right? Yeah, uh, maybe uh, almost an inch. Almost an inch. Okay. Uh, Ms. Lewin, uh, Got a, I you said you've got a jigsaw. Um, do you have a, um, a miter saw or a chop saw? Like I do that? have a miter saw, yes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you what's been marked stakes as if it's 63. Do you have a grinder? No. Do you have a grinder? No. Do you have a grinder? No. You don't own a grinder? No, I don't own a grinder. And uh, how long have you been doing woodworking? About six years. Six years or so? Mm hmm. Fair to say you've got a lot of different tools for those jobs. Mm -hmm. working. Yes. And a grinder is not one of them. No. Let me just have a moment. Clarification, Your Honor. I apologize. I referred to the cooler as Exhibit 77. It's Exhibit 73. So I apologize for that mistake. And that, Ms. Lupin, I don't have any further questions for you. I thank you very much for your time. I believe Defense Counsel may have a few. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Caroline Smith, and I do have a few questions for you. And let's start with the tools, okay? Um, where do you keep your tools? Um, I have some by the back door. Um, on a rack and then I have some put away in um, a little storage unit that I made that's on wheels in my off the side of the dining room area okay so that's in your apartment some are in the apartment some are out no they're both in the apartment just different locations in the apartment okay. I've had to move them around okay and the basement um, is that something anybody has access to no, well, the tenants have access to it because we each have a key. Okay. Um, because it's paddle locked, but it's not anything that we use or use to store anything or. Okay. okay. And I said I'd get to the tools, so I'll get to the tools first. Um, I'm going to show you what has been marked as Exhibit H. Okay. Do you recognize what kind of tool this is? That's a miter saw. And that's one of the tools that you have, right? Yes. Right? 
And did you say that you had a circular saw? Yes. Okay. I'm going to show you a copy of uh, I. Can you tell me what kind of tool is in this image? That is a circular saw. Okay. I'm going to show you the jury. get a little bit of an understanding of um, your place and where Kayla, Adam, and the kids stayed. Were they in your apartment? Yes. Did you have an extra spare room for them? Not for them. That was packed full with furniture flipping and tools. Okay. So it was a room that you had available that you let them use for a while, but it wasn't a room that you had intended for them. They didn't really use the room. They just put their items in there, their clothes in there, and they slept on the pull-out couch in the living room. Okay. All right. So all the kids are, and the family is all together. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just to get a better idea and the jury to, when you, of your house. You're on the first floor. Yes. And if you're on Dubuque Street, uh, if you look at the right side of the building, but facing Dubuque Street is a door. Yes. And then you've got a um, arched window beside that door. Yes. And then on the other side, there's a sidewalk that goes along the side. Yes. And I think that you said that there was a door in the middle of the building along that sidewalk yes and then in the back of the building there's another door yes and you use the front door no you use the side door along the sidewalk no you use the back door yes uh, okay and that may, that you park there yes okay so you drive around back of the building you park and you can come in the back way yes do you have the hole downstairs the whole floor yes okay so um, any door that you go in, you can access your place. Yes. You don't necessarily, but right. you can. So the middle door, where did you say that um, Adam and Kayla and the kids would go in? The middle door. The middle door along the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the front door would be for tenants going upstairs or something? They would use the middle door. Okay. Front door was for show? The front door, you go out and get your mail. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And um, now I want to talk about when you met Harmony. And um, you recall that visit, right? Yes. And you even recalled what she was wearing, right? No, I don't recall what she was wearing. Okay, I'm going to show you a copy of a report that um, I believe that you were given to review okay. prior to your testimony. And... Um, do you remember meeting with the state about uh, your prior testimony? Yes. And uh, you reviewed the report that they asked you to review? I remember reviewing it, yes. Okay, and you said that it was accurate? Yes. Okay. If I show you a copy of that report, will that help refresh your recollection of if at some point you remembered what she was wearing? Yes. It's been a chaotic couple of years, huh? Yes. Okay. Okay. you a copy of that page 165 that they gave you and you can read any of this report about you but I'm going to ask specifically about uh, okay. what you told them there.
Okay, I, I just read that part. Okay. And um, do you recall that you remembered then that she was wearing a pink jacket? I still, my, I don't really remember what she was wearing, like visually. I, I, I remember this, I remember everything else in there, but I don't really remember a fuzzy coat. Okay. It doesn't say anything about pink. And pigtails? Yes, I remember the pigtails. Okay. And glasses. And glasses. Um, and you remember that because you were paying attention to her, right? She was next to me in the living room. Okay. So you were able to see her face? Yes. And she was adorable? Yes. And uh, you enjoyed meeting her and trying to get to know her? She didn't talk much, and they were there very briefly. Okay. And... Um, I believe that you said uh, she looked healthy? Yes, she did. Okay, and she was pleasant, didn't talk much, but seemed fine. She seemed fine, yes. Okay. Thank you. No, f I'm sorry, no further questions. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, so, I believe you said you did not own this. No, I do not have a grinder. So, uh, you haven't owned one in the past either? Never. So, if somebody saw one new in a box, it wasn't yours? No. No. Thank you. Mm -hmm. No, Your Honor, thank you. Can I step down?